Is it cooked? <laughs> oh, it looks like an airplane barf bag. out sort of our our top three um, choices for spring steelhead fishing We've had good success so far conditions weren't really that good with our first destination but we managed to get into a few fish they weren't in that great shape but uh, they were good fighters and big fish second one oh it was it was awesome got some nice uh, fresh fish and some fast moving choppy water made for a hell of a fight. I went to our inland river stream that we were fishing and uh, did quite well there as well. Uh, we got into some uh, very fresh fish, uh, minty, uh, minty bright and, you know, and, and bit bigger water as well. So really testing the limits of our, of our um, spay rods. So how's the trip going so far? Oh, it just seems to be just one thing after the other. But we're getting a few fish today. River's probably blown out. Did you look at it? Looks good. Oh, good. Well then, just waiting for Rob to make me oatmeal and then I'll get up. Oh, that's good. How'd you sleep? Well, we got hit with Hurricane Katrina in the middle of the night. Um, not great. I'm tired. Yeah. I guess it goes with it, eh, though? A little bit of tiredness is uh, if you want to catch some fish, long days. It's all part of it. How you feeling? Achy? You get worn out yesterday? I haven't really moved substantially yet, <laughs> but I'm not looking forward to it. Are you? Yeah, I am actually. I still not bad. have so many theories about this when we catch a fish oh this is where they're you know where, where they're going to be caught is it in a, a run a deep pool and slots behind boulders in the shallow areas the deep pools and and we catch them everywhere you know in these the, these creeks and depending on the rivers you know we, we think we have it figured out we think we have it dialed in and then all of a sudden something blows our mind and we catch some fish somewhere else that we honestly didn't think we would and uh, you, then you're back to square one kind of re, you know re going through the theory again and the whole process of of, you know exactly where these are and you know I think that's one of the things that uh, that we really like about steelhead fishing is that you probably will never figure it out there's just too many variables there for us to uh, you know to kind of digest and digitize and figure out um, you know figure out this fishery so but yeah there is there's you know there's so many theories out there on on steelhead fishing and that that uh, we could go over but those are you know just a couple of the more interesting ones that, that we've been chatting about lately That is a silver, silver spring run fish, hey? Such a fun fight. First run, just... Big water, big 
fish. Fishing with a guy with big hair. I'm Captain Quinn. Thanks for watching. Until next time, subscribe to this channel for more great videos and like us on uh, Facebook. Until next time. And then it was on to the third creek, the most remote destination. We are on our way to uncharted water once again. Never been fished. And uh, it's going to be an epic oh, journey. There Getting there. there, there, there you go. But he's got it. Got it! Yeah, so, big it. so I'm excited. Um, I know Rob is too. <laughs> you don't get any minter than this.